This robot right here has changed my entire way of living. This is the Roborock S7 Plus, and this is a sponsored video, but I think I've had like a hundred different sponsored offers for robot cleaners over the years. This is the only one that I've ever agreed to, because there are 10 things this thing does that have genuinely, well and truly, shocked me. Spoiler alert, it's not just a vacuum, as you'll soon realize, because number 10 is its lasers. So fun fact, I've actually been using my old Roborock cleaner for like four years now, and it cleans fine, but the way it goes about it, and the way most old school robots would go about it, is to just kind of go in a random direction, till they hit an obstacle, and then they kind of back up a little bit, try a different direction, and just carry on. A bit like my videos. <laughs> the S7 though, doesn't bump into things. You watch it go closer and closer and closer to a wall or a big object, and then just stop a hair's breadth away. And turns out, that's because it's actually using pulsating lasers to figure out the dimensions of what's around it. And if you use an infrared camera, you can actually see them in action. It literally looks like a Mission Impossible movie. But it gets better. No, literally, it gets better. The first time I let it loose in the studio, I could see in real time how it was using its sensors to map out the area. Cleaning, but also just scouting. It was trying to understand the lay of the land, figuring out the most efficient ways to get round the space that it's on. However, because it can save that info internally, the second time that I let it loose in the same area, it already had a complete understanding of the entire floor plan. And so the first thing it did was skirt all the way around the edges, went straight to one corner of the floor, and then worked its way across methodically. I thought that was mad. Milo was less impressed. And then actually, as a spin-off of this, it's not just that it can understand one room or one floor, it can remember four separate floors in its internal memory. I guess that in itself is not entirely surprising. We've, we've heard of storage before. But what did catch me off guard is that it'll know which one it's on. You pick it up and take it anywhere, and providing it's been to that floor before, it'll use LiDAR to recognize which one it is and just start cleaning accordingly. Okay, so one issue that I have had to deal with with my last robot is that every now and again, it gets stuck on things. You know, sometimes you don't have completely even flooring. Sometimes you do have a, a rogue cat toy in the middle of your carpet. So, you know, once in a while, I would have to perform a little bit of a rescue mission. And that's kind of baked into my brain. So every time I see this new one get stuck on something, I almost instinctively lunge forward like a protective mother, ready to pick it up and move it away. But then it just fixes itself. It seems like the combination of sensors with these deeply ridged wheels almost allow it to know when it's stuck and then go into a, how do I climb my way out of this one mode? Now, you might've been wondering, is there a reason that I'm calling this a cleaning robot as opposed to a robot vacuum cleaner like a normal person? Well, there is. It's also a mop. And it's not the only cleaner to have this feature. I've seen it on plenty, but I've never seen it like this. The way that most robots mop floors is basically by dragging a damp cloth over them. But the S7 has a built-in water tank, which is enough to mop apparently over 2,000 square foot in one go, and it scrubs. It can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in really small motions, like 3,000 times per minute. So, just to test it, this is what Milo does after a hard day of, well, nothing very much, you idle youth. Ow, oi, ah! He's just being salty. <laughs> so I left all this dirt to properly dry and get right in there. Then I let the Roborock loose on it. And let's just say in the game of robot versus cat, one nil to robot. All right, well, don't go. Oh, he's just being bitter. But number five, this blew my mind. The S7 doesn't just go around scrubbing everything. It understands surfaces. It has a little ultrasound sensor right here that fires out sound waves. It then listens to the echo when that sound bounces back to figure out what kind of surface is in front of it, whether it's raised, whether it's hard, soft, carpeted, flat, and then it changes what it's doing based on that response. Like if I set it to go mop my floors, it will realize that this bit in the middle is a rug and it will automatically lift up its mop, change modes, and just vacuum that part instead. And likewise, if it's just on vacuum mode, if it detects that it's on a deep carpet, it will increase the suction power so that it can pull out more of the dirt that's trapped inside. And hey, if you enjoy sucky videos like this one, then a sub to the channel would rock. Robo rock. Oh, did you watch my best smartphones of the year video? If you did, you will have seen these pristine winning shots. 
yeah, they weren't so pristine behind the scenes. But I literally just left this robot there, and because of the sheer suction power, by the time I came back, it was finished. Okay, even with all of this though, you might still have a situation where there is somewhere you don't want it to go. Like I have this bunch of gear right at the back of my room, and to be honest, I barely trust myself to clean in there. So, because this robot has mapped out the entire floor plan and understands what is where, you can draw invisible walls onto that plan. It feels like building something in a game. But sure enough, once you put one of these walls down, the robot will go right up to it and never cross further. And more importantly, it's not just walls, but also falls it can save itself from. They call this feature cliff detection. I have no idea who's using these around a cliff, but I have seen a couple of times going right up to the edge of one floor, looking death right in the face, realizing it still has work to do and then turning around and carrying on. He's a good boy. And just on the note of cleaning, actually, because I haven't even talked about that yet, this one has a pretty unusual way of doing it. The way that most cleaners work is bristles. Like, this is what my old one's brush looked like. However, the S7 uses rubber blades. And I did think it sounded a bit odd when I heard about it, but it cleans spotlessly. I think whether or not it's a deeper clean than bristles depends on the surface, but it is universally better in terms of how it looks after itself. For anyone who has vacuum cleaned before, you will have experienced the admin that comes from bristles. The fact that they trap lots of smaller particles within them, and how long hairs can interweave themselves to the point of stopping them working. The theory is that rubber makes this less of an issue. And at least from my experience, I've used this almost every day for a month now, I haven't had a single tangle. All right, number two. Now this is where it gets beautiful. This is where the S7 moves from fun novelty gadget to genuinely taking a weight off my shoulders. Scheduling. You can set it to go once per day. You can do just Tuesdays at 3 p.m. You could do once per hour if you're fun like that. You can tell it what intensity to clean the area with. You can tell it what times to do what rooms, etc. And once you've set this up once, that's it. Do you wonder what takes this to the next level though? this giant double-barreled shotgun looking accessory. No, it doesn't double as a security guard when it's off duty. Million dollar idea though. This thing is actually the auto empty dock. When the robot finishes its rounds, it will locate this dock automatically, travel to it automatically, stick itself on charge and empty its internal dustbin inside of it automatically. So when you combine that with the inbuilt understanding of when to mop and when to vacuum and the scheduling side of things, all of a sudden you can go a full eight weeks without even having to think about needing to clean. You'll just come down in the mornings and it is done. Oh yeah, and this bin bag that you can put inside the auto empty dock is self-sealing and antibacterial. So even when it comes to the, let's face it, grimy job of emptying bins, you never actually need to touch anything you don't want to. So there you have it, the most jacked house robot you've ever seen. Links in the description to find out more. To check out 15 other insane gadgets like this, click here. Or to find out why Facebook's metaverse is a little worrying to say the least, click here. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. News Boss. I'll catch you in the next one. The way that most robots want.